So hello fellow coin collectors, this is Glenn, back with another video. And look at these, you recognise the country, and yes, it is Germany. Beautiful coins from Germany. And this is actually another country that I like to collect. Actually, I, I do like to collect all countries, but if I can get some German coins, I will. So, there are actually two different currencies here. So we have the Reichsmark, so that's those two coins, even though that one says Mark, I'll get to that in a minute. And we have the first Mark. So the currency that was issued in 1873 up until 1924. So that's a good 50 years. And it suffered from hyperinflation. So basically, if you know about the German at the end of the Second World War, well, not Second World War, First World War, um, the currency actually didn't get hyperinflated straight away. It's only in 1923 when the German government decided to print excess money to deter the French from um, trying to take back or get resources out of the Rhineland. Anyway, we won't worry about that. You can look it up on Wikipedia. But the first coin I have is a 25 penny. So this denomination was actually issued in 1909 to 1912. It doesn't seem to be a popular coin. Uh, it's a nickel coin and it's the highest base metal coin that they actually issued. They did issue a 20 penny earlier on if I get that coin I'll make another video on it but as you can see this side has wheat and this is the F mint mark and on this side we have the beautiful coat of, ar coat of arms which is the eagle with an eagle on top of it in the coat of arms it has a Deutsches Reich German Empire 1909 and uh, this, this coin's a little bit scratched as you can see, uh, can you see that? Yeah, you can see the scratches on the actual coin. That's post mint damage. So anyway, these coins generally cost about twenty to thirty dollars, but sometimes you can get good deals, and you can pick them up for probably about ten dollars if you look. But this coin actually has a mintage of four hundred thousand, so it's a pretty low mint coin. So. For a low mint coin, you expect it to actually be that price. Um, it's not the lowest mint. I think it's the second lowest of the 1909. Uh, the other years, generally all the A, which is Berlin, have a high mintage. Sorry about that. And these are usually dated about 1921, 22, and is actually a note gout. So a note gout is a coin issued by a non-government uh, body, non-federal uh, government body, should I say? Like a, a could be issued by a provincial city, their government, uh, a province. The military or a private individual and one of the curious inventions is these porcelain note cards. This one weighs 2.98 grams, it's 24 millimeters in diameter and 3.5 millimeters thick so that's nice and it's brown clay. If you look over back you can see it's actually issued by Munsterberg Schles and that is a town that's actually in Silesia I don't know the Polish name of the town now but um, they actually issued uh, a 10, 20, 25 which is this coin 50 and 2 marks so they issued a variety of denominations some towns issued one, other towns issued more than one, probably ten is the maximum I've actually come across. 
Uh, these are actually all low mint coins because they're only supposed to serve the local area. Uh, this individual coin had a mintage of 49,500, which is actually quite a low mintage for these nightgale coins. Generally, a lot of them actually have like a hundred to two hundred thousand, and you can get down to just a few hundred issued by a certain government, usually small cities or towns. And they're actually not too expensive. I've seen them um, they're five to ten dollars each. They can go for hundreds of dollars. But the best ones I have actually seen in design are these porcelain ones. They're actually quite a beautiful type of design. And that leads me to think that these weren't actually issued for circulation. They're only issued to tourists, so like our trinkets to sell the tourists. Because of the design is actually quite good. Um, this design is actually a little bit boring. But the better design, you're probably paying about 40 to $50 for an individual coin and uh, if you go to Numistar and look up porcelain note gold you'll find a lot of different designs and they're actually the best ones to see so the next coin I have is a one mark and this was introduced in 1924 and it's actually the Reichsmark which is actually the currency there and that's the next coin we're going to see as well and this is Mint Mark E and we just have the eagle on the back and these coins you're probably be paying about 10 to 20 dollars for um, a lot of them 933 were actually recycled for their silver when uh, they actually changed the coins to nickel so a lot of these were not actually saved oh sorry keep dropping it a lot of these were not saved when World War II started because they weren't in circulation and you see down the bottom has oak and on the side just has a wavy pattern so that's actually nice and they actually come in a two and three and five mark version as well which come more expensive and the last coin I got is a early Nazi Germany coin so this is 1934 this you can tell it's Nazi Germany because there's a swastikas Two Reichsmarks has the Weimar Eagle, Deutsches Reich at the top, and it has on the obverse 21st March 1933. So this coin was issued for one year of Adolf Hitler taking over, becoming president and chancellor. Actually, no, coming chancellor, he became president in 1934 at the death of Hindenburg. So this coin actually only has a mintage of uh, 703,000, which is the second highest minted uh, to mark of this design. Uh, the A mint mark is actually the higher one. And on this side we have the Potsdam Cathedral, which was a rallying point of the Nazis in Nuremberg. And if you look on the side, my uh, Nuts. Git for Angus. Hmm, can't remember what that actually says. My German is uh, really scratchy, but I'll leave it in the description down below. And these coins you're probably paying between uh, fifteen or thirty dollars for a two mark coin. This this version here probably more over the twenty dollar mark because it's more of a uh, it's more desirable because of the historical factor. Nazi coins are just really highly collectible. A lot of people actually want to collect them because of what they represent. They don't actually, most of them don't actually um, conform to a Nazi ideal. They just like the era and uh, they're just fascinated with the Germany at that time. Uh, a bit like, ooh. Well, how people are fascinated with uh, Napoleon, um, Charlemagne, a lot of people, Barbarossa, who else? Stalin, a lot of people are fascinated with Stalin and Mao. Not because of uh, they agree with the ideology, but because 
of what they actually done. So that's a nice coin, a nice two mark coin, but I really like the porcelain note guilds a lot better. So I hope this video informs you on the prices that you can actually get for these coins. And it shows you new coins you've actually never seen before, especially the porcelain note gal. It's actually very, very interesting. I might actually get into collecting note gals because uh, why not? Beautiful designs. Anyway, I'd like to say thank you very much. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and have an awesome coin collecting time, people. Thank you and bye-bye.